Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video, but this video is going to be a bit short because I want to introduce you guys to a pretty cool website and this is the Tressless.com website. Now, I know people kind of hate the, uh, or hate on the Tressless subreddit, but this is a bit more of an organized community and I've been on it for the past, I want to say maybe four months or so. And uh, it's pretty cool. It has some pretty cool features. And there's this one feature that I think kind of gets left on by some of the people that actually use the website. So it would be nice if you guys can just, you know, use the website and check it out too. But I want to show this feature that I thought was uh, pretty cool, especially when it comes to my research. And it's this research tab over here. So I'm going to head to it and uh, yeah, let's see what it does. So we're here at the research tab and this is a pretty cool just database searcher where essentially you can enter in a term over here. So search research or search search everything, but we're going to focus on research at least. Search research for a particular subject. So this subject could be something like, let's just say something like headache. Let's just say headache, right? So headache, cluster headache, acute and uh, prophylactic therapy. And uh, you have all these other studies that are kind of linked to uh, the term headache, right? We have something over here, differential diagnosis of a headache and vertigo topical monoxidal self-medication should be considered. That's actually a pretty interesting study. I, uh, at least the title sticks out to me. So when I actually go to the study and click on it, right, over here you get a TLDR explanation of the study. So it's kind of like an abstract of an abstract about the study itself. And you can follow the, uh, the study uh, link by clicking this link and it should take you to the website where the study is and you can kind of uh, find it over here. Now this website is a bit kind of, a bit old. As you can see, there's not much of a CSS design or a proper CSS design, but essentially, um, yeah, it is a pretty cool tool. The Tressless research tool at Tressless.com. That's T-R-E-S-S-L-E-S-S.com. -S -S so this is a pretty cool tool that I use to kind of help me with my research uh, as of late. Just to explore the literature, it's um, pretty nice. We can also look up something like, you know, let's say stem cells. And me looking up stem cells, the term or the subject stem cells in the research section of the Tressless website. Over here, we see a pretty cool thing. We see a glossary term. So glossary, stem cells, unique cells that can develop into various specialized cell types. And you have this whole description over here right? And you have the related terms. So it's actually really cool if you want to just go in and research stuff on your own. This is a really cool feature of the Trustless website. Um, and you also have these other studies as well, like a, a lot of studies with a lot of citations of those studies. It's a, it's a pretty neat feature on this website. Now let's check out another aspect of this Trustless website, and that would be the community, the community page. But yeah, there are a lot of features on this website. And also over here, uh, this is like what's new in the community post part of the website. So this is actually my account in Krata. Um, and this is my my research for people who have Dupa, right? And it concerns scalp biopsies and just the general literature around scalp biopsies. Um, and then you have the, the Trustless GPT. So this connects to ChatGPT. You can go over here and uh, you can actually, if you have the premium version of ChatGPT, you should be able to interact with it. So you just kind of sign up and uh, you can talk to Trustless GPT. All right, so I'm here on ChatGPT and I'm going to be using the Trustless GPT and uh, we're gonna prompt it about some certain things. So hopefully you guys can actually see the, uh, the chat over here. So I'm gonna ask the trustless chat GPT GPT. How do I stop my male pattern baldness? Right? And then of course it's going to give like a response over here. So this is pretty cool. Um, it seems like regular chat GPT, but so as you can see, and also th there's some proprietary I'm pretty sure some like data sources from trustless.com. So yeah, this is a really, really cool service. I would definitely check the trustless GPT out 
it's very cool um and uh i think there's some unique glossary terms to it too so I'm trying to think of something i can ask it um so as you can see over here a ppar or ppar agonist uh, agonist sorry is a compound that activates the peroxisome proliferator activated receptors or ppar and uh i'm not gonna read all of it but there are different variations there's ppr gamma and over here it mentions it too um ppr agonists particularly ppar or ppar gamma agonists help reduce immune related inflammation in hair follicles since lichen planet polaris or lpp is characterized by an autoimmune response targeting hair follicles ppar agonists I keep saying agonists ppar agonists help modulate this immune response to reduce inflammation it also reduces fibrosis and improves lipid metabolization in the the tissues i, I guess in the skin as it says over here so over here ppar agonist in lichen planet polaris treatment you have pioglitazone and uh, this has been used in various studies that can show it may halt disease progression not only that but it can also reverse some scarring alopecia conditions if they're autoimmune base so pretty exciting stuff and i talked about it in a video before but i just wanted to kind of prompt the trustless chat gpt kind of tool right all of this is within the sort of environment of trustless.com in the environment right. of trustless.com and over here this is actually my post again that's been featured in the community section of the website so guys please give it a look please check out trustless.com there's a lot of cool things going on here if you scroll all the way down over here you can see uh this thing over here it's called new featured research exosomes for treating hair loss a review of clinical studies so you even have highlighted research right so if you're looking for a place to try to get up to date on news in research right like actually seeing if there's any sort of updated clinical trials or updated you know studies maybe there's stuff that relate you know over here micronutrients and androgenetic alopecia this is a a new systematic review that was done in this month right now i'm recording this october 29th 2024 this was released this month october 2024 so trustless.com especially when it comes to just exploring the literature is a nice hub of all of these papers, right? It's really cool. Over here, the efficacy and safety of oral minoxidil versus topical solution in androgenetic alopecia and meta-analysis. I actually want to look at this later. I think I already looked at this before, but this is, uh, it looks pretty new. Let's uh, follow it. Over here, we have a too long, didn't read summary. Oral and topical minoxidil are equally effective for hair loss, but oral minoxidil causes more unwanted hair growth. Okay. So this meta-analysis compared to the efficacy and safety of oral minoxidil versus topical minoxidil in treating androgenetic alopecia by analyzing four randomized clinical trials with a total of 279 patients. The study found no significant differences between the two treatments in terms of hair density. Interesting. Okay. And hair diameter. However, the incidence of hypertrichosis was significantly higher in the oral minoxidil group compared to the topical group there was no significant difference in the incidence of hyper hypotension sorry hypotension between the two groups overall both topical and oral minoxidil showed similar efficacy and safety profiles for patients with androgenetic alopecia and this is kind of something to you know keep in mind for, especially for those who are looking at getting on oral minoxidil because it does have the you know the sort of added risk of uh pericardial fusion which is fluid built up around the heart but that's for another video we're here to just look at the the tool that is the research kind of function on the trustless website so uh, again a lot of cool things here right dermal papilla cells from basic research to transitional applications uh hair growth effects and the mechanisms of what is this rosa rugosa extract in dht induced alopecia mice okay we have topical light based and complementary interventions for acne you even have some acne studies here too which is pretty cool and then over here prescribing patient sorry prescribing patterns 
amongst UK dermatologists for the treatment of alopecia areata, female pattern baldness, so on, so on. This is probably a really good sort of study to see how, you know, dermatologists are going about treating these conditions, right? Particularly alopecia areata, female pattern hair loss, and frontal fibrosing alopecia. And frontal fibrosing alopecia has a sort of autoimmune component too. So you can kind of see the habits of at least dermatologists in the UK. Again, all of this is, you know, all of these sort of new papers, if you use the trustless research function over here on the website, it'll shed a light on things that are generally considered, you know, obscure, you know, papers that are fairly new. So this is why I really, really love this website. Just about general hair loss topics and kind of educate yourself too on the terms and, and other things like uh, PFS, post finasteride syndrome. By the way, in my opinion, not a real syndrome in much of the medical literature, not a real syndrome. But if you want to see what that term means, you can go over there, right? If you want to know what dut means, what min means, what, you know, other things may mean, it's kind of a pretty good section to go to the learn section, right? Uh, the beginner's guide over here, if you're starting out your hair loss journey, right? And then it links you to this part of the community page where you can actually learn about what to do. This is pretty cool. Right, um, let's go back again. An overview, read an in-depth overview of treatments. And uh, it's like a nice little like, you know, landing page where you can learn about common patterns associated with androgenetic alopecia, even other forms of hair loss conditions as well. First line therapies, FDA, MHRA, and EMA approved treatments, and just a whole glossary of, of terms right and uh over here you can document your treatment right start taking your photos today journal your progress get advice from people you know share get a nice back and forth to see where you are honestly i think this is better than the subreddit because over here things seem a bit more like again curated and just uh maybe curated is, curated is not the term but more um intentional people are coming to this with intent and they're not going to like spam it up and uh there's some quality posts that are already here so it's pretty cool so yeah that's pretty much it i've been spending some time on this website and uh it's nice so uh that's all i have to say and yeah hope to see you guys there peace out